In just a few minutes, Microsoft 365 Copilot and Word assisted me with generating this amazing project proposal. Let me show you how I did it. Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I am a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today I want to navigate all of you through how to leverage Microsoft 365 Copilot experiences directly injected into Microsoft Word. Whether you're drafting a document, rewriting text, searching for information within your files and your content, or trying to perform research and then insert that research-based data into your files that you're working on, Copilot can assist you in all of these core actions. Now, I'm going to start with the blank Word document, and you already see at the top of this Word document, we have our Copilot prompting box as well as some contextually aligned prompts that relate to content that's around me. You can see I can produce insights from a project proposal, or I can analyze certain documents, get action items. There's a wide variety of ways that I can leverage Word as a content storage mechanism, and then have Copilot give me data back within new forms that I require. In this case, we're going to generate a project proposal. So let's go ahead and begin our prompting and let's generate some data to start with. Now prompts can be very basic, they can also be very complex and detailed. So I can start at a very basic level. Generate a project proposal for Acme Corporation, one of the clients that I directly work with. And what we can do here is we can leverage prompt suggestions. So Word is always a great place to start if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out how to leverage Copilot overall. Prompt suggestions can help you become more detailed in your prompting skill set and move you forward with more detail and context within the work that you perform. So I can either leverage this suggestion or I can just continue typing within my prompting box and Copilot will provide additional suggestions contextually aligned to what I'm typing. And as you can see now, I've added additional context. We're focused on investing into artificial intelligence technologies specifically Microsoft 365 Copilot for the modern workforce. Let's go ahead and add some additional context in this case, and let's draft our initial project proposal. So really quickly, for the sake of all of you to see, here is the prompt that I will use. Let's submit it. Now, it's really important to understand as Copilot is drafting this document and the current experience today, Copilot will rely on the data that it's trained on. It will not directly go out to your enterprise. For example, if I had a Word document or an email or a meeting that I wanted to align to, Copilot and Word cannot go out and use that information, that internal intellectual property that correlates to the type of data I wanted to include. If, for example, I did want to include that data, I would have to reference it within my Copilot prompting box experience, and I would have to have Copilot go out to those documents and then pull that data back in. Now, just like any Copilot experience, we have our initial draft document. In this case, we have a four page, 800 word document to start. And this is always a first draft. Always review and read. It could include data that is not fully accurate to what you require. So you have to evaluate and modify as you go forward. We're going to elect to keep this particular first draft in this case. And in review, I noticed that the timeline overall really isn't something that is filled out for me. So I've taken out the initial text and I'm going to click on the Copilot icon directly built into my Word document experience. When clicking on the Copilot icon, I can then directly reference content and prompt with natural language, telling Copilot the type of data that I want to include. So let's imagine a fictitious scenario here where we've met previously and we've aligned some meeting notes in a Word document in order to discuss timelines on this project proposal. So in this case, my prompt will be reference that particular meeting notes document. I could have also referenced the direct meeting itself if it had been recorded and create a table format timeline based on the notes for this project proposal. Include key milestones and deadlines for clarity and organization. We'll submit that prompt off. And now within just a few seconds, Copilot has given me a formatted table directly embedded in my Word file. With all of that key rich detail from my meeting notes, I can now review all of this information, I can modify, I can add additional columns into the table if I so choose. And this is also really useful if I want to take existing data and reformat it automatically. I can select existing text within the file and reformat in different ways. For example, there's the implementation approach section as you see here with different phases. I can select this particular text 
and I can click on the Copilot icon and I can visualize this as a table. This allows me to then reformat inline text automatically in case there's something that's already available that I want to change. We also do have some additional options at your disposal that I do highly recommend that you try. When you are navigating to insert additional text within various sections, you can do things like keep writing. For example, maybe this cost saving section, I want to add in additional detail contextually aligned to that section. I can have Copilot just keep writing for me and review the information that it provides. I can also have it provide me writing suggestions based on selected text. I can have it insert summaries based on the section of information that I'm within. Sometimes as well, I'm just not sure how to write text or rewrite text. And in this case, if I'm reviewing the executive summary, maybe it just doesn't sound quite right. So what I'll do here is I'll select this particular summary and I'll just have Copilot auto rewrite for me. And this is fantastic because what it will do is it will generate three draft experiences that I can then review and ideate with and understand and read and then say, does this sound correct? Does this need to be modified? It can inspire me to speak and communicate in different ways in relation to this project proposal. And just like any other writing based experience, I can have it take that particular information and then feed it some additional detail via a prompt. What do you want Copilot to change? and then have it either replace the text or add it below. Now I've spent a few minutes here and I've drafted the overall document. We have about a six page document, uh, 1300 words, and I've refreshed the file. Now, when I've refreshed the file in this particular Word Online experience that I'm in, you'll notice at the very top and I, I have an automatic summary that's been generated for me. And this is where we are updating the experience with new innovations available to all of you. When I open my summary, clicking on view more, I now have the ability to review the standard summary, have a brief summary, a fully detailed summary, which is very useful if you're in very, very large files, by the way. We also have additional tabs at the top for insights and discussions, which I have talked about in the past. There will be additional tabs at the top as well, based on various activities and such around me that will give me more contextual data within the file, so that way I can move forward faster. Just to really quickly show, Insights gives key numbers as well as suggested Q&A. And there we go. This could be useful information for me in case I need to keep my leadership updated or maybe I'm drafting some form of document and I want to post facts on that particular information uh, in my internal org for sharing, for example. I can also see discussions. This would include like comments and such as well. And then finally, I can start talking to Copilot about this document data. I can click on the open in chat option or in the word ribbon bar at the top right hand corner, I can click on Copilot and directly embedded within this chat experience, I can talk to Copilot about this document data, about data that exists within my work enterprise and about data that's on the public facing web. You can stay directly within your word file experience. Take all of that information in by having the AI automate that process for you and then include it directly in your file as you require. Now, let's imagine this is the first time I've navigated into this file and I need to get some core information back. I now have the summary, of course, and there's a few key prompting techniques that you can use to get more data and detail around you. What I like to do first and foremost is have Copilot give me a list of discovery questions. I can say things like, provide me a list of discovery questions I can ask based on the context of this file. So here's now a list of discovery questions I can ask based on this file content to get started. So I don't have to fully critically think. I can use these as inspiration and look at them and say, hmm, maybe I do need to know a little bit more about the strategic alignment or the implementation phases. And I can just copy those questions and ask them directly within this prompting box. So now what I've done is I've taken one of those questions based on the implementation plan and I've asked Copilot to go and research both enterprise data and public web data and then perform a comparison between the information it finds in those locations against the information in my document. And I wanted to redraft this information to create a richer write-up for me that I could then include for my implementation plans overall. From your document, we have the direct implementation plan that's been provided to us. We then also have some highlights on the importance and structure for a phased approach. 
from my direct company. So not a lot of data there, but it's still good to check. And then finally, we have some recommendations from data on the public web. And as we can see, there are some additional insights that we could implement or include, or maybe we just hadn't evaluated yet and need to include directly in our file. And so now with all of that rich information loaded in my conversation, I can have Copilot take that data, align it all together, and provide me a phase implementation approach for Copilot in this case. I could copy that information and then put it directly into my file to generate a richer write-up better aligned to my expectations. General note, if you are doing any write-ups directly in the sidebar experience, we now have included a new option for inserting that information directly into your file as well, or even putting it into a separate Word document for further evaluation purposes. So there are many great ways that you can leverage Copilot and Word to create value for all of you. I highly recommend as you work through any prompting techniques, you leverage the Copilot prompt gallery. The Copilot prompt gallery is directly built into your prompting box. When you click on the plus icon, you can select view prompts. And this will open the prompt gallery with prompts directly aligned to your Copilot in Word experience. So if you're just not sure to how to get started with prompting, this is a great way to check out prompts directly provided by Microsoft as well as save prompts that you need to reuse for any work purposes within your documents. Moving forward, we will have additional videos on the other app experiences like Excel, Outlook, Teams, so on and so forth. So if you're not subscribed, please join in on the community. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns around any of the content, or if there's anything I've forgotten or you want to see in the future. Leave a comment below. But that's all for me for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for your time. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.